Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hockey Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial here on the Hockey Regime channel. Today, we're going to be working on Patrick Willis, former linebacker, middle, middle linebacker for the San Francisco 49ers for eight NFL seasons. And I'm going to read off some of his career uh, stats or, you know, little awards that he was given during his tenure in the NFL. Seven-time Pro Bowler, one-time NFC champion, five-time first-team first team all pro um, and also finished his career as the total of 732 tackles 20 and a half sacks 16 forced fumbles and eight interceptions along with pretty much 112 total games played throughout his career and uh, obviously if you're a 49er fan people were probably really shocked last year at him uh, deciding to retire at only the age of I think it's pretty much 30 years old uh, back in 2014 so, you know, that's obviously very tough to go through as a Niner fan. When you had that defense together, that was really pretty dominant um, for a, a time. They went to back-to-back uh, -back NFC championships, I believe. Um, yeah, they did, and they ended up losing the second time around uh, to the Seattle Seahawks, who went on to win the Super Bowl. But that defense had Navarro Bowman, uh, Patrick Willis, Justin Smith, Alden Smith, I mean, you had some very, very talented defensive players in that unit, uh, and Patrick Willis was definitely one of them. Also, was a one-time, or yeah, actually, one thing I was surprised about Patrick Willis is he actually didn't win the Defensive Player of the Year award. Um, unfortunately for him, there were also, uh, you could probably debate pretty length for a, a while, like on if he should have received an award because you could make the argument that he could, ha that he should have received an award. There were guys like Charles Woodson and Troy Palomalu, Bob Sanders, those type of players that won the award in place of him during his time uh, from 2007 to 2014 but um, you know Willis was pretty worthy of it if you watched him play uh, probably the closest guy that we've seen to Ray Lewis which is funny because Ray Lewis actually played uh, in the same time period that Patrick or uh, that Ray Lewis did or Willis and Lewis played in the same time frame pretty much I mean the only difference is that Ray played for a longer period of time than Patrick Willis by like four or five more years. And that's why I think a lot of people will always give him the nod in terms of being a better linebacker. Although they seem to be pretty similar if you watch them play. Their build is very unique and is very similar. 6'1", 240, 250 pounds. Ray Lewis looks a little bit bigger than Patrick Willis, at least in my eyes. But Willis seems faster than him. Uh, uh, and, and, and Lewis seems like a more of a... Uh, just a strong, bulkier type of build, uh, even though they're both monsters. <laughs> if you look at these guys, like it looks like their necks are so small because their shoulders are enormous, and you can't even. It's, it looks like they're having a tough time to run sometime with the ball if they get an interception. It looks awkward because they're such big, uh, muscly figures. And these linebackers, Ray Lewis, Patrick Willis, these type of players are absolute uh, beasts of in terms of. Uh, intimidation on the field these guys were true leaders to the each individual team and that's why they brought both of them to the Super Bowl unfortunately Patrick Willis ended up playing against Ray Lewis in that Super Bowl the last one in 2012 the last game for Ray Lewis ever in his career and the Baltimore Ravens ended up getting the uh, better of the Niners in that game um, so I mean Patrick Willis had to create him in Madden because he was not in uh, this last year as you know not a surprise. He's not longer. He's no longer playing in the NFL So I wanted to create him for any 49er fans out there that wanted to use him in future games um, Just for the heck of it, you know, because this guy was an unbelievable talent So even as a Seahawk fan, I got to show respect to a guy like Patrick Willis who <laughs> really uh, You know terrorized Seattle for years on the defensive side of the football when they were pretty bad You know Seattle was not a very good team from pretty much the time period after the Super Bowl uh, in 2005, 2006 to um, 2012, pretty much. Uh, 2010, they started getting better, made the playoffs with a losing record uh, with that Marshawn Lynch Beast Quake run, moving on to 2011. But there was a period for four or five years that Seattle was just horrendous, and that's when Patrick Willis was really at his very best. Um, and then obviously the back-to-back -back NFC Championship appearances for the Niners. Uh, that is as a result of Patrick Willis being such a monster, as well as their defense coming together as a whole. So I have to pay my respects to Patrick Willis by creating him in Madden. An unbelievable talent, a beast of a middle linebacker, one of the greatest I think we've seen, especially in recent history. There hasn't been a guy like him that has that dominance. Uh, Luke Keekley would be the next uh, guy that you will see uh, that it will you know people will probably compare in terms of greatness. Um, to Patrick Willis, Luke Keekley Luke would probably be one of the only guys that you could say uh, that that is true for. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, some of the equipment that he had just had kind of the two short sleeves up near his wrists and then the gloves. He did wear his socks in different ways. Um, he sometimes he had long, sometimes he had short. Uh, I believe I got the right face masks on him as well. Um, and then he had the eye tape, or I think he had eye tape. And then he had the, I forgot what it was called, the ankle sleeve. I forgot what those are called, but uh, he had that always. I feel like that was one thing I always remember seeing him wear um, the, the full-on uh, tape around the ankle that for each side of his uh, cleats. So that's one thing I saw of his, him that uh, was equal to his equipment that he had in real life. But um, that is actually going to be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden NFL 16 content and future Madden NFL 17 content as the game will come out in a couple months. And uh, feel free to leave any suggestions on future players that you want me to create. I'm obviously going to continue to make these Madden player creation tutorials well into this summer and uh, to the beginning of Madden 17. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yep, thanks for watching.